And let's take a look at this, this question. Now here you have a series, and uh, that series expansion we let be f of x, and we want to find uh, the sum of the series in terms of uh, x. Yeah, in other words, we want to find f of x as the sum of the series. It's not easy to do. It's very complicated. Now, <clears throat> let me use y to stand for f of x. Just, just easy to write the steps. Then, <clears throat> y will be equal to 1, the first term, plus 3 factorial x cubed, then 6 factorial x to the power 6, and uh, 9 factorial x, x into x to the power of a ninth, and so on. So that's the series. Now if we take the derivative of y with respect to x, that will be equal to uh, x squared 2 factorial plus x to the fifth power 5 factorial and uh, x to the 8th power, 8 factorial, and so on. If we take the second derivative of y with respect to x, that would be equal to x, right, plus x fourth to the 4th factorial, plus x 7, 7 factorial, and so on. And uh, we know that exponent, uh, well, e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x plus 2 factorial x squared plus 3 factorial, 3 factorial, and so on. That is a well-known series, e to the power of x. Do you notice that this one plus this one plus this one will be equal to this. This one plus this one plus this one is that. You know, 1x squared, third, fourth, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. So, which means that y double derivative plus y first derivative plus y is equal to e to the power of x. <clears throat> that gives us wonderful conclusion that we want to find the y. We just solve this differential equation. That is uh, fantastic. Well, you know how to solve this differential equation second order, right? First, we find the general solution from the homogeneous solution uh, equation. Then we find a particular solution. Then we find uh, the solution of this uh, this e differential equation, which means we find a y. Okay, first to find uh, the general solution. Uh, now, from the we we are looking for a homogeneous solution from this equation, right? So first we uh, well, how do I should write to get a homogeneous equation? And how do I write this one? Okay, why? in the homogeneous equation which means which means uh, y 
plus y h from y is equal to zero, right? That is find the homogeneous solution from second order different equation. So we are solving this equation, right? R square plus R plus one is equal to zero. So R is equal to uh, half minus one plus or minus one root minus three, right? This is equal to one negative half plus or minus two root three i. Well, therefore, my homogeneous solution is equal to e to the half x uh, cosine no no right again sorry <laughs> I get a little nervous okay the homogeneous solution uh, is equal to half x plus a times cosine uh, half root 3 x plus b sine half root 3 x. That is my solution from the homogeneous homogeneous equation of the second order differential equation. Now then we have to find a and a b and we we can find a and b from the initial condition that is uh, when x equal to zero when x equal to zero y equal to y equal to one right and also that from the first derivative when x equal to zero is equal to zero and from these two initial conditions, we can find A and B. All right, so let me skip that uh, little detail. I think you can find A B easily. So A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1 over root 3. Okay, that these two, these two numbers could be found uh, from a given initial conditions. I suppose you know how to do it. Therefore, my solu uh, well homogeneous solution is equal to e to the half x cosine root 3 over 2 x plus 1 over root 3 sine root 3 half x. Okay, that is my homogeneous solution. Now we also need to find a particular solution. Uh, well, for particular solution, <coughs> that's easy because uh, y and uh, y and y derivative and the second derivative the summation is e to the x therefore my particular solution must be equal to k times uh, e to the power of x then we substitute that well the first derivative is equal to k e to the x and the second derivative of particular is equal to k e to the x. So therefore, uh, well, k is equal to one third, right? Because this plus this plus this one is e to the x. Therefore, k must be one third. Therefore, finally, we find a general solution, which is uh, f of x, right? Is equal to is equal to uh, homogeneous 
solution plus the particular solution, which is equal to e to the negative half x cosine root 3 over 2x plus 1 over root 3 sine root 3 over 2x plus 1 third of e to the power of x. That is my f of x we are looking for. Well, this is a this is a wonderful solution. Thank you for your watching.